the intergenerational trauma effects and the atrocities that have happened, the reality is there's a large body of people who still discredit it or deny that those things have happened. So how do you start to heal from a trauma that is not being acknowledged and validated? You know, how do you start to heal from a trauma that is still, you know, consistently unraveling in your life? William Thomas Philip Mole. I am a carrier nation from Stony Creek Reserve out of Vanderhoof. Born and baptized in Cornell, BC and moved to the reserve. Uh, my first encounter with alcohol and drugs, I was about eight or nine years old. Uh, my grandfather drank all his life, um, used to beat my grandmother. Ever since then, like uh, my, all my uncles, aunties, siblings, my brothers and sisters all drink still to today, except for my mom. My uh, drinking got so bad that uh, my wife left me and uh, I didn't have the opportunity to watch my children grow up. Um, and my temper always comes out. The anger comes from seeing it all my life growing up. Watching my grandfather do it to my grandmother, my grandfather doing it to us, my uncle doing it to us, my uncle doing it to his kids. On and on and on, and I know it's wrong, but it's hard to stop. Uh, like, I want to break the cycle of abuse in our family from generations going down from generation to generation. That way, the abuse, even it's verbal, mental, physical, sexual, I want it gone. So. I, I've known Billy for 14 years. He's always been a bright, vibrant, caring person. But there's a uh, part of him that he needs to learn to like and love himself. You know, he's learning a lot about himself and changing some things, but there's a lot of anger and uh, frustration, and I'm not sure exactly where that all comes from, but I, I, I truly hope that Billy finds what he needs to find. I am now living in second stage called the Wolf's Den. About 101 days clean and sober today. All my relation program has brought my culture back in my life. I get to learn a lot of the culture that I've lost in being away from it for so long. Like, my reserve doesn't teach anything like what we have here. So Billy has been involved in Smudge. He's been building our fires for every single one of our sweat lodges. Um, he's known as a fire keeper. He knows exactly what he's doing with that. And anything that you want uh, prayers on, we put it on this altar. This is called an altar. Like they say, uh, a sweat lodge is like Mother Earth's womb, like going back to your mother's womb. It's so soothing in there. When I'm in the lodge, I pray for my healing in a way that I ask the Creator to guide me where I could treat people better, I get rid of my anger, or my shortcomings, or whatever, you know, and this is what I pray about in there. When I first got here, my temper was out of this. It was crazy, like I'd get pissed off easy. And now I don't, it's like it's helped me so much. My plans for the future 
For me, I'm committing to a four-year pledge with the Sundance family, and then I'm hoping I'm going to build a, a new Argalia for myself so I can start doing powwows again, uh, dancing in powwows. So that's my goal. If you're struggling and need somewhere to go, even just somebody to, you know, to listen to your story, this place, they've got such a loving heart here, you know. It's a loving family that I would uh, do anything to help out in any way I can. But AMR is uh, amazing. That's all I can say about it. It's, you gotta try it. Too. Hi, I'm Billy Mole, and I am at All My Relations, thanks to the All Together Fund.